Hey, welcome back to another video. Chris with RC Worst here. Today we've got a Goulds uh, pump that's used for circulation. This is just an in-suction type uh, basic pump here. Um, so what we're going to be doing is the customer reported that the pump was leaking around the volute. So we ordered a new seal because we felt like that was most likely the situation. So we're going to take this guy apart and uh, replace that seal, put it back together and test it and see if that solved the problem. So let's get to it. All right, so the first thing we're going to do, this one's kind of got a funky design. Uh, we've just got a bunch of Allen heads to remove here. So we're going to get those removed and uh, see what it looks like on the inside. All right, so here we are. Still trying to get this pump apart. We took the Allen heads out probably 15, 20 minutes ago. Um, and the volute just does not want to come off of there. Now, I suspect there's a, a cast iron back plate that's basically, so you got the back plate and then you got the impeller and then you got this front face of the volute. And I suspect that this back plate has completely rusted to the volute and that's why we can't get it off. So I've got a rotor puller here. Um, we're gonna try to get this thing out. So uh, if things get exciting, we'll get back at the action. All right, well, after an hour of get, trying to get this thing apart, we finally hooked it up to the gantry crane and we had the forklift we put this between the forks, pulled down on it. So what it ended up being is right here was actually rusted completely together to this ring right here. That's why we could not get that apart. So now we got her, let's replace that seal. All right, so now we're back at it, day two. Uh, it was getting late in the evening on uh, day one, so we're back at it today, this morning, um, and really the reason we're making this video is we want to replace this gasket right here. So this gasket seals the volute and prevents water from leaking out. And, um, and we can see kind of down here on this section of the pump that it's a lot of discoloration. And that's just because that previous seal was letting water past it. So before we go ahead and replace the seal, because we did struggle a lot getting this apart, we're going to use a scraper and a, a wire brush and we're just going to kind of clean up these surfaces uh, going all the way around just trying to get as much of this junk out of here as possible so that if for any reason we got to take this back apart it's not going to be terribly difficult plus I feel like if we get all these surfaces nice and clean uh, and flat we're going to have better luck uh, making sure that everything stays sealed and the pump works the way that it's supposed to do so we're going to get working on that and uh, so stay tuned All right, so now we got our gasket. So before we do anything, let's just first make sure that this is gonna fit. And it looks like we're gonna be in good shape. Nice snug fit. So that won't be any problem there. I like to put just a little bit of lube on the gaskets. It's gonna prevent them from getting really dry and nasty. So like this gasket, I wonder if we can get a close up of this in just a second. I'll show you this gasket, that original gasket is really dried out and almost crunchy. So we'll show you that here in just a second. So you can see the rough shape that that O-ring is in. It's got tons of cracks in it. Just like crunches as I turn it like that. So that's undoubtedly where the leak was. So let's get back to putting this thing together. So just putting the a little bit of lube on here. This is a super lube that we're using. This is a multi-use grease. Um, it's a synthetic grease, so non-petroleum based, uh, and it's also food grade. So even if this were a water pump, this would be a good grease to use on that. So we'll throw our gasket on here, just like so. And now we're ready to bolt the pump back together. We obviously got that all cleaned up. We're ready to put this onto here. And we can start putting all of our Allens back in there. All right, so we've got all these tightened up. Everything's nice and flush all the way around. So now we just need to remove these nuts down here and put our pump stand back on. And then what we're gonna do next is actually hook this up to power and water and because the customer wants a liquid test on this once we're complete just to ensure that the seal wasn't successfully installed. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. But we're running out of time today to actually film this. So unless we run into any issues, 
We'll uh, catch you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We have like six other pumps in line that we need to get tested, so stay tuned. There's gonna be a ton more troubleshooting videos. Every single pump that we're working on right now is completely different. So we appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time.